guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to be talking about children size charts I made a video previously talking about children size charts and if you guys are interested in seeing more and you guys really love that video so I am starting like this whole series of size charts I made like previous videos on female size charts now we are dealing with children size charts and after this I'll also have the video on male size charts and I'm basically like filming everything today so that is why you're gonna be seeing the same look for all the series of this size chart so if that's what you're interested in please go ahead and watch it and that is why you have to give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe bell so for the children's size chart also I'm going to have about three series for the children's size chart the reason is because I'm going to break it down into three different parts so that its videos will not be too long if I'm posting all the videos at once it might be above one hour and I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing so much like I don't know if you guys are interested in watching a very long video like one hour so I'm basically going to break it down into three videos today so the first part of the children's size chart which is what we are talking about today is our chest measurement waist measurement hip and our shoulder you also discover that for the children I said chest measurements are not breast or bust like women's size charts because of course our children don't have bust yet and one thing about children's size charts is the fact that it also goes for male you know because the same size of a female baby is also the same size of a male baby do you get what i'm trying to say but however in as much as we have different sizes here in as much as we have different sizes here this is what is going to help you to know what to actually get and you also discover that i did not use age in grouping these children size charts the reason is because you might have two children who are two years old but they might not be wearing the same size however this is because some children are big while right? some children are slim so you might have two children who are two years old and they might not fall under the same size so using size for children like small medium extra large helps to actually buy the exact child exact size of a child and even when you're buying stuffs like you know like pampas also it also has like sizes so you can have like a newborn baby wearing a size of a pampas of a two-year-old baby like no, two years old of a one-year-old baby pampas you get what i'm trying to say so basically let me know if you guys can relate to the comment section and what is your experience like if you have children in the comment section so now this part is the first part like i said and i'm also going to say that please follow us on facebook tg designs and also on instagram tg designs i also paste post amazing tutorial on facebook and i'm also going to put the link in the description box below however we also have our comprehensive children's size chart which is available i cannot lay emphasis on the children's size chart the comprehensive one is available and the link to it on our website is going to be in the description box below please and please go ahead and check it out in the description box and grab a copy you need it if you are making children's wear and it's also going to be a guide for you so without talking too much let's go ahead now and get the video ready so now the first one we have is our newborn baby so for the chest of a newborn baby we have 13 inches now for the waist we have 26.5 inches for the waist we have 26.5 for the hip we have 20 inches and for the shoulder we have seven inches so this is the measurement for a new bun congratulations to every mom out there you are beautiful you are special and you are unique okay so this is what we have now the next one we have is x x x so x x simply means extra small okay it simply means extra small so the chest for extra small is 17.5 inches the chest for extra small is 17.5 the waist is 28.5 and the hip is, the hip is 20.5 right for the shoulder we have 
7.25 now when it comes to you know making children wear they just have little little difference you know because children wear are basically very small and there are people who don't really like making children clothes because they feel like children clothes might be too small for them to handle let me know if you are search in the comment section or if you really love making children's wear in the comment section so now the next one we have now is our x and what does x means it means small so what is the chest measurement for small we have 18 inches what is the weight of a small we have 30.5 and what about the hip we have 21 inches and for the neck the shoulder we have seven points seven five inches so the next one now we have is m which is known as medium so the next one we have is m which is known as medium so the chest measurement for medium is 19 inches 19 so let me just go this way so that you guys can actually like get the calculation so 19 we are basically going to be adding one or point one or half inch 19 right for large we have 20 now the next one we have 21 inches and for extra extra small we have 21.5 inches for four we have 22.5 and for five we have 23 in inches and for six we have 24 inches so you will discover that basically for the chest measurements we we're just adding one one inches to every of the chest measurements we're just adding one one inches to every of the chest measurements and also note that when you are taking children measurements you know in as much as you want it to be fitted it shouldn't be also tight it's, it's not like women dress that you have to make sure that it's tight because when you are measuring children or you are making children outfit please make sure that the dress is not tight because trust me if a child puts on a tight dress, they are going to embarrass you outside because they might tell you are not comfortable. So please try to loosen up the measurements a little when you are taking the measurement for children. So now the next one now is our waist. Our waist now we have 32.5. So we're basically adding what? Two inches. The next one will be what? 34.5. Now we've gotten to extra large. We have 37.5 you add your two inches we have 39 the next one will be 42 45 and 48 inches so towards the lower part here we started adding three inches to it do you know why we started adding three inches to our waist measurement let me know if you know in the comment section but if you don't know i'm still going to tell you that is why you are here so basically for children the waist measurement which is usually their tummy measurement is usually very big okay i feel like when it comes to children the tummy for some children right the tummy is usually bigger compared to their chest or compared to their hip measurement this is because their chest is still flat they don't have any breast yet they don't have any muscle yet and their hip is still flat because they don't have any bum bum like they have bum bum right but like they don't have you get what i'm trying to say like they know it's not yet formed the shape at the back is not yet formed so that is why but for children their waist is usually big because they are not bothered about flat tummy children are not bothered about flat tummy because it is the guys and the women that are bothering about flat tummy how to get flat tummy but for children trust me when it comes to children measurement the tummy which is their waist is usually bigger than their chest and their hip and also i also want to encourage everyone who is watching this video you know just in case if you added weight in your tummy due to childbirth please you are still beautiful you are still wonderfully made your body shape is nice you are the most beautiful woman you have a nice shape don't feel um, discourage and don't have low self-esteem over your body shape you are actually very beautiful you brought an amazing soul into the world so embrace yourself and be proud of your body so that is just a little encouragement out there if you if this really touched you you can put it down in the comment section so now the next one is our eve like i said the eve is not yet 
formed like big so let's go now we have 21 the next one is also 21 inches now you are going to add two inches one inches you have 22 the next one is 22.5 22.5 our extra extra large is 23.5 our 4 is 24.5 our 5 is 25 and the 6 is 26 so we just added one inch basically because it's the hip measurement another thing you also take note of is the fact that you can see that with these measurements now this is their chest this is their waist this is their hip looking at these measurements you will agree with me that the waist is the biggest measurement for children look at a size small their waist is 28 and then what do we have we have 17.5 can you see the difference so basically their waist is the largest part of the body now the hip also is usually bigger than the bust in as much as you know the the hip area is not really formed they don't really have so much shape like that but the hip is usually bigger than the bust because of pampas allowance so we also know that children put on pampas so you also have to create allowance for pampas especially if you are making dresses that are fitted so that's why you also discover that for most children dresses for the female children dresses the down part is usually like a ball dress which is usually very free but if you are making like a fitted dress please try to put allowance for the pampas so that is why the hip measurement is bigger than the chest measurement but overall overall the waist measurement is actually bigger than the measurement so the next one now we have is our shoulder measurement so our shoulder we have seven seven point two five seven point seven five the next one is eight eight point five nine nine point five ten point five eleven eleven point five 11.5 so their shoulder measurement also is usually very very small and because they are also to divide the shoulder by two and one thing so this is what we have another thing again is that when you are done with the shoulder measurements and you want to achieve the neckline for children please make sure that the measurements you take for the neckline is not wide so children neckline are usually very small close to their neck because they don't want to expose them to cold and literally children don't need to expose so much skin like we adults so when you are taking their neckline please just make it of 2.2 2.5 2.1.5 just very little neckline so that you don't expose them to cold so i hope you guys this video has been detailed enough and you can imagine how our comprehensive size chart is going to be you guys i'm not going to t talk too much about the size chart if you're interested in getting it the link of the website is going to be in the description box below please go ahead and check it out and also get your comprehensive size chart so this is the end of the first part of this children's size chart and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe put down your questions in the comment section and then i'll see you guys in the second part of this video bye